the phase problem for a small molecule is uh, solved in practice ab initio. Now, the problem is if we use molecular replacement, SADMAD, SILMIR, or also uh, ab initio, how far we are from an automatic solution of, uh, of the phase problem and therefore uh, up to when we have a good model, molecular model. So obviously data sufficiently good are, are obvious. We need data sufficiently good. But what we need are also molecular replacement or submarine techniques which are sufficiently good, sufficiently efficient. And uh, what I heard in this meeting means that we are evolving toward a new generation of molecular replacement technique. And then the important problem, very important problem, is the phase extension and the refinement. And of course, the IMB programs. So look what now we have, we had uh, by using uh, the different techniques which are available. Start with the phase of refinement. I, I skipped molecular replacement. Phase of refinement, the phase extension of refinement, and may be made all by the so-called mainstream refinement techniques, which are in the CNS, CCP4, Sharp, Phoenix, Shellix uh, programs, and also by using out of mainstream refinement, which are not used in those programs, but we are using it in our program. So maybe the combination of these two types of techniques may improve the phase refinement and extension. I just uh, give the name of these auto mainstream techniques. Our LTD, low density modification techniques, VLD, Vibra Difference, Free Lunch, phantom derivatives, and phase-driven molecular model refinement. Uh, I have not the time, of course, or going on, so people interested too will contact me after or during the discussion. Well, what I want to show are just the results which are obtained by using different techniques. Let us start with the molecular replacement techniques. We have used the 33 test structure, originally solved by molecular replacement. The last 10 structure, which will be emphasized, are the Mario et al. structure with the similarity index smaller than 0.30, and which were solved by using the Rosetta. So, uh, uh, we will use the molecular replacement techniques in our lab, which is a Remo 09, which is contained in SEER 2018. And uh, we use it for the Mayo, the Phoenix phases for starting and see how far we are, we go. What we do is use, f use first DM by Cotan, then use separately Resolve which is in Phoenix by Terwillinger, and then we combine DM plus our uh, auto mainstream techniques, and it is DM plus OADM, it is a, a combination, a synergy combination, and resolve plus OADM. These are the four uh, results I want to show. So, you see here, the mean phase error given by our molecular replacement uh, program, hmm? Remo09. This is what does the M by extending and refining phases. So this is a good work because, you know, if you, if you go from uh, 69 to 51, uh, to 69 to 55 is a good result because you extend phases and refine phases and so on. So this is what we obtain by using the advised instruction 
always by the user. And then when we give, we use a resolve. And uh, if we compare these two, uh, we can see that the resolve is a little bit more efficient, but it's terribly longer. Hmm? And uh, when we use the M plus OADM in a synergic way, the phase error, the average phase error is this one. You see how far we are from the single when we don't use the synergic approach. A dramatic improvement of this. And when we use Resolve plus OADM, we don't have the same results that we obtain when we use DM plus OADM. Probably because the maximum likelihood um, techniques is a little bit rigid and does not, uh, is not able to combine with our method. Uh, we can s discuss later if you want this point. And uh, if we continue to see the other of the 33, you see these are the error here obtained by, by uh, REMO, by molecular replacement. These are the 10 DiMaio structures. These are DM. These are Resolve. This is the combination of the two. DM plus Resolve, uh, DM plus uh, our technique, the synergic way, DM plus OEDM is the better. You see 84, 18, 81, 25, 81, 24, 73, 24, and so on. So it is a big improvement of the phases error when you combine these phases. And uh, Resolve plus OADM, it is not so good as DM plus OADM. Okay, doesn't matter. We will discuss this point later, otherwise I will not go up to the end. Now, look at the SADMAD techniques. We will use uh, our programs for SADMAD. And then we will refine the phases by the M, Resolve, the M plus OADM in a synergic way, and Resolve plus OADM in a synergic way. So, you see here the list of the structure. This is the resolution. Uh, no, this is uh, the number of residues which are contained. Okay, so there are also very big structures like this, hmm? like this, like this. Um, and then uh, these are the, the selenium atoms, the number of selenium atoms. There are big uh, numbers sometimes. And these are the res this is the resolution. Okay, this is more or less the the... the the scenario. Now look at the results. These are, this is the average phase error obtained by our program, SADMAD. Half of these are SAD and uh, the, the other half is MAD. Um, this is DM, which always does a good, uh, good work. This is um, Resolve, a little bit better, but terribly long. DM plus OADM improve a lot the, the phase error. And uh, er Resolve plus OADM is not equivalent, not so good as DM plus, plus uh, OADM. So these are the, the data. Now the problem is, uh, sorry, I have another case. Ab issue. Ab initio, uh, protein cannot be solved unless you have a very high resolution or you have smaller resolution but with some heavy atoms inside. And here I will show you the case in which you have uh, 
proteins with heavy atoms and the resolution up to two angstrom resolution, data up to two angstrom resolution, ab initio. So these are the, these are the, the PDB code. This is the resolution. You see there are structures with two angstrom resolution more or less. And these are the number of residues, so are respectable uh, structures, 8,000 uh, atoms in a symmetric unit. These are the heavy atoms which are inside, and the number. This is the Patterson, <coughs> the methods we use for solving this are Patterson techniques. Hmm? People interested can discuss us with us. Uh, Patterson techniques, and we go to this error here. When we submitted this data to DM and Resolve, they were completely unable to improve this, probably because they are more uh, addressed to, the, to low resolution than to relatively high resolution. But now, uh, so DM and Resolve doesn't move the the average phase error at all, but when you use DM plus ODM, you see that the error go down. Not always, but in most of the cases, go down. And here you see again for the other structure, Patterson, the initial phase error here, resolve uh, DM, uh, sorry, uh, Resolve DM, DM plus ODM, you see. So there is a very big improvement when you use uh, uh, this, this synergy between DM and our method and Resolve and our method. The best we found is DM plus our techniques, the synergic approach. <coughs> Now the problem is, okay, we have some, s these phases, maybe an artifact, maybe something which is a bit strange. So the, be the best thing to do is to submit these phases to, uh, to automatic model bidding. So uh, among Buccaneer, Alpwarp, and Phoenix Autobuild, we choose Buccaneer because Buccaneer is efficient, is fast, and simple in, in its use, and uh, it has a modest sensitivity to the resolution. So, is able to solve structure, three angstrom resolution is fine. So, we choose this, and we tried to modify Buccaneer, Buc to, to include Buccaneer in a cyclic uh, procedure, which I, cannot describe here, but the procedure doesn't change the Buccaneer algorithm. It only makes cyclic the application of Buccaneer. So, uh, let us see when the phase obtained by molecular replacement are submitted to, to CAB. CAB is uh, Buccaneer in a cyclic approach, okay? In a cyclic approach. So, as you see, uh, this is the phase error here. Yeah, this is the phase error. Uh, this is, let me move from here to here. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. This is, uh, let me say, the coverage. This is the percentage of, uh, of um, the percentage of uh, carbons, alpha carbon, which uh, agree with the sequence of the, of the protein, okay? So you see that at the first application of Buccaneer, most of this, of this structure has a high, a high value of coverage. That means that it works fine. But he, remember that uh, molecular replacement the phase provided to Buccaneer from the, our refinement approach, synergic refinement approach, are quite good. So 
This, this is the face error here, and the Buccaneer makes correctly his work, and the coverage is very, is very high in the, a high percentage of cases. And the MA1 is the percentage of uh, alpha carbon which are at less than 0.6 angstrom from the correct position. So we have uh, this percentage of, of alpha carbon when we apply Buccaneer. When we apply CAB, we move to these values here and to these values of MA. You see, in general, that even if Buccaneer works uh, in a very uh, good way, uh, we always improve an 89 from coverage, 100 from coverage, 87 for MA1, 97. Here, 93, 87, 199. 47, 49, here, Buccaneer didn't work uh, so well. We go to 87, 83, and this is continuous. And when we again continue, you see here that uh, Buccaneer works uh, correctly in most of the cases. Uh, we, we improve uh, just a little bit because Buccaneer works quite well. And uh, here, just 17 for uh, coverage, we go to 37. And we hear from 40 and uh, 21 as uh, MA, we go to 154. So this is a way for improving uh, Buccaneer performances. Now we see what we, it occurs to, come to SADMAD cases. And uh, here the phases are not of the same quality as the, the molecular replacement phases. And so uh, we can improve more. So you see, uh, I, I just emphasized this case, 51, 28 uh, become 99, uh, 96, and uh, 45, 44, 60, 6 become 96, 89, 56, 7 becomes 93, 89, 44, 88 become 96, 95, 52, 44, 196, and uh, other small improvement inside. So you see that using this uh, cyclization of Buccaneer without modifying its algorithm is able to improve the performances in an automatic way because we didn't change the, the instruction suggested by the authors. All that is in a, an automatic way. Now we go to ab initio test phases. The ab initio test phases, we obtain this error at the end of our refinement by DM, by DM, DM plus our techniques, and we obtain coverage and the MO1, which has this, and we obtain this, this two, and this two, 15, 33, 91, 97, 68, 72, 90, 91, 77, 77, 92, 81, 30, 75, 55, 88, um, and again, 88, 93, you see, every, in every structure, you see a improvement, which is strong, very strong in some cases. Here, for example, we have a zero, 55. Zero means no, the sequence is not respected at all. And we arrive at 87, 89. So you see, we have a very strong improvement by uh, including a carb into the, by including Buccaneer into the, the um, uh, into carb. I have also to say, it is not shown here because it was too long, that um, we did the same for Nautilus, Alpvarp, and uh, Phoenix, how to build uh, for uh, nucleic acids. Not exactly the same, but a similar pressure. And we obtain very good results, mostly by using Nautilus. But I, uh, I have not the possibility of showing it here. So, 
which are the instruction you have to give to uh, to the program for passing from molecular replacement stage to the end to the to the final um, automatic molded bidding or from the beginning of a SADMAD to the end or for a initio. You have a initio and you go to the end. Well, for molecular replacement, you, are, you have only to say this, which means uh, your job, uh, the, the name of the structure, data, the sequence of the, uh, if you have some atoms you put inside this, mm, no other things. So, for SADMAD, you have only to give the information about F plus, F minus, and so on, but the sequence, of, and, and that, that's, that's all. Uh, and, the, of course, the starting values of the, for F prime, F second. And uh, for ab initio, you give only this instruction. So, very few instructions when you start your job are sufficient to to solve, to make all the structure, because all these data were obtained in a automatic way, in default, without no change uh, from a structure to the other. So, this is not, I cannot, I cannot say, of course, that all now is automatic. We are far, because uh, there are cases in which it do not work, and so on. But, uh, it is a, a a scenario in which we can understand how far we are. So improvement, for example, in molecular replacement, I hope that uh, the idea which has been exposed in this meeting can go on, will provide to our techniques of phase refinement and uh, CAB better phases, so more automatic approach for solving the structure. If, but ourself I have the intention of uh, renovating molecular replacement in agreement with um, the ideas exposed in this uh, in this meeting so thank you for their attention